G'day guys and welcome back. Now we're out at Botany today. It's been um, a week that's just passed since the last time I was out with the fishing maestro. We were down at Windang doing a bit of grabbing and since then the weather has been shocking and I, I finally just gotten a, a small window of opportunity. As you can see in the background it's looking a bit how you going as well. So I um, thought I'd get out here do a bit of poke polling see what we can get possibly a bit of coastal foraging and uh, hopefully we can get onto some fish or some snails. So we'll check in once we're onto a fish. I'm just starting now, first cast, or first drop, should I say. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got a more right eel. Let's see, I'm going to do with this guy. All right. Um, this is not a catch and talk, but this is, this guy's going to go for my fish tank. Get in there. Got our caddy. Oh, nice one too, Mackie. Okay guys, I think I'm going to call it a day now, uh, as you can see the rain's starting to come down and uh, it doesn't look like there's any end to this, so um, I'm, ha I'm quite happy with today's result, but one moray eel as an addition to my saltwater tank and we also have one relatively good sized catfish which will do quite nicely for lunch uh, for my son and I. So uh, we'll see you all back uh, when it's uh, time for the tasting. Okay, so uh, after two more eels and one catfish from that break war, seems like it's not producing anymore. So we're going to another break war right now. And there wasn't a single sea snail on that other break war either. So hopefully there'll be some on this one. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Not a single snail either. Must be due to the rain. It's been raining heavily. Alright. Son Alex is onto one. Let's uh, sort him out. Pass the neighbor, Alex. Alright. Ah, uh, it's out of the hook. It unhooked itself too. Cool. Cool. It's done the, the deed for me already. However, it's still spiky. So I have to sort the spikes out. You want more bait? Yeah, okay. It's in the bucket. Okay, set yourself out. Alright. Catfish number two. Not as big as number one, but still nice couple of fillets there, and it set us back nicely for lunch. Right Again? Oh, I lost it. Ah, no, I died. It'll still be there. We'll go again for it. Oh, 
on catfish number three. In the net. Uh, you might be able to catch number four too. You can try. Alright, up she lays. Okay. So we're even, Alex. Two each. <laughs> Number three. Does that not kill them? Nah, they're hardy. You're on along with the seaweed. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Hold up. Just let me secure this. Lift it up, Alex. Nature documentary. You on? Woo. Net. Right. I think it's time to call it a day, mate. Okay, um, as I said earlier, I was going to call it a day, I lied, just as we got into the car, uh, we had a last minute change of heart and we went to this other break wall, which is two break walls down from where we were, and my son has actually delivered the goods, so we ended up with a, a whole, how many catfish did we get mate? Five? Yeah, so we've got five catfish, <laughs> so that improves our catch and cook immensely. Once again, we'll see you all back in the kitchen, and um, begin with the time for the tasting. Save them for another time. Yeah. All right. Oh, I want to catch this little baby one, so check out the fish tank. Yeah, I know. Those baby ones would have been lovely tank ones. Okay. No, no, the moray is still nice and fine. I've seen them. Yeah? I've seen it, yeah. It's quite happy in there. Once I take them all out, and then you bring this back down and change the water for me. Yeah. All right. The rest of the stuff's all yours, yeah? Oh, the walk back is hard work because this bucket is full of fish and it's bloody heavy. Alright, it's only that much further to the car. You can see the car up there. Oh, come on, baby. You can do it.
So with the fish processed now, let's get cooking. So right in front of us, um, these are the fish fillet portions there. And um, I thought I'd be keeping it simple today, just going to be crumbing it. So this is just a, some standard breadcrumb that you can just buy from your local supermarket. And I've just got an egg wash here. Alright, so the fish portions straight to the egg wash. Give it a coat of the crumb. This oil has been heating up for the last 10 minutes, so the heat should be at an ample heat. Just test it now. Yep, oil is hot enough. Straight into the oil. Well, this hot, this won't take long for these pieces. lovely now just before we get to the tasting um, I know I've done a, a similar video with the catfish and crumbing but um, this video is actually inspired by uh, a group of my son's friends now they've uh, put a request in to ask for something simple something that they can easily do and I thought nothing better than the crumbing uh, something as for a first-time cook it's nice and simple all you need to do is obtain the ingredients you can't go out there and if these birds would not interrupt. Okay, so as I said, if you can't get out there and catch the fish, you can also go to a nice fishmonger and get some fresh fish and crumb it yourself. As you've seen in the demonstration, um, it's so simple, anyone can do this. So I highly recommend that you give it a go. So without further ado, let's go in for the tasting. Doesn't that look lovely? Just caught a couple of hours ago and then straight onto the dinner plate. And I'm just going to serve it up just with a bit of tartar sauce and a little squeeze of lemon there. Mm. That's sensational, guys. Once again, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. Catfish is highly underrated. And if you've seen how easy it is to obtain, get out there and catch them and do this recipe. So once again guys, I'm going to be thoroughly enjoying my late afternoon lunch in my alfresco dining slash man cave sort of area. But um, until the next video, bye for now.